Okay, so I think um a quarter way long way build. So the problem I have right now is that to make these lights automatically light up, wait, these lights, not the motor, these lights automatically light up when the when the car goes forward. In order to do that, I need to find a way to fit this motor onto this as long and with front wheels and space. Problem. <laughs> Big fat problem. Is it the front wheels or the rear wheels that are going to drive the front wheels? Motor. Front wheels. Very hard to get stuff in between the axles, in between the space and axles of motors. Yeah. It's no longer a motor, it's a generator. It's a generator now. Yeah. Usually, the motor would be powered by this, but this time, this is powering the motor. And the motor will be powering this. So you're turning the motor into a generator. Yep. This will be the motor. This will be the generator. So basically, this will be the motor that's driving this, and this is the generator converting the kinetic energy into to electricity. And then our output... And then we have our output, which is the LED lights. First thing I'm going to work on is the, is the bottom chassis for, for this build. And as you can see, I've used... A, I've kind of done a kind of noobish mistake. I've used a two... I've used two Technic slabs, I guess you could call them. Ben pieces. Don't know their official name. So I've used two. And that means that if... I'm to join these with the regular joining pieces. I can't get it in the middle. So it would be offset to one side. It would side. be offset and it would be... Let's just say I hate offset. It drives me mad. Okay. But the way you fix that, these pieces in the centre, this one that I'm spinning, this one, this one has... I know you can't see it, but there's an actual... There's an axle in it, and there's a hole in the centre of it, which allows you to poke stuff through. Well, which still doesn't help, because I would still have to put it offset, even if I did get on with plates, like that. See? Offset. That's where these bricks come in handy. These bricks have a point in the centre that Lego pictures can attach to. See? So, you can use that to fix offset because you can set pieces straight in the centre of a build. So that means with these onto my base, I can just slam this on like that and boom, it's centred. Beautiful. So now you, so the front wheels will now be aligned with your rear wheels. Yeah. Having just said that, my frog, my newbie mistake, I have found another way to do it. I have found ooh, straight Technic pieces. I'm going to make an entire chassis of strong Technic pieces. Much better. It's, it's actually, it's official name is compound brick. Okay, I've got to do the gear ratios now. And that usually would have taken a long time. But now, I don't have to. I've got a table full of them with <laughs> each of the cogs corresponding. Woo! And you actually <laughs> remembered that you had this gear ratio. Yes, I've read the entire book. <laughs> don't question me. I've read the entire book. Entire thick book. He reads everything. For example, if we use these two cogs here, if you look at our handy little chart, We've got, we're working with this cog, combined with this cog, come together. We've got a one point, we've got a one to 1.25 gear ratio, which isn't much, only just above 1.1 1 .1 to 1. But yeah, that's why this isn't really working that much. It's very small amounts. But we've got to make a bigger ratio because this car's going to be traveling really fast. Like fast for a Lego car, not like 20 kilometers per hour but yeah it's got to be traveling fast and i don't know how much these lights can take <laughs> so don't know if the motor's gonna break either so we have to be really careful so we have to increase the gear ratio to make sure that the 
Mechanics don't go <laughs> playing with cogs. <laughs> we accidentally made a switch that can switch the cogs from on like this. Then if you pull this back to off. So if you pull it back, this cog won't gain any power. And that means so it won't drive the lights if that switch is switched backwards. So if we push that backwards, it spins Boom. like that, free spins. And if we push it yep. forward, Good. it engages the cog and spins. Yeah! All right, we're going to test it. It's the full body's not complete. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> looks kind of like a inside of a car. Let's see if the LEDs come on. You might have to give it a little bit of push to overcome yep. what? The opening torque. Yeah, this motor let's go. isn't the best of the best. Okay, let's go. Came on. It came on? They on. came on! They came on! Go. go. Yeah! Oh, it even did a flip! First flip! First flip! <laughs> and the gigantic wheels. The wheels were too small and they and they did too many rotations. So big fat wheels better. The turn right here. They increased it. Not we didn't increase it just through the cogs, but we also increased it through the wheels. Lucky I had these big chunky things. <laughs> chunky. Otherwise, otherwise we wouldn't have got the torque required. Is yeah. that correct? Yes. Big chunky. Wheels. Good chunky wheels. Ready? Set. Go. Ready, set, go. We made the lights turn on. All that effort to make lights turn on. How did you do it? What and what were the challenges? Okay, so the first challenge was actually, for me, the first challenge was actually thinking up of something to actually do for today. <laughs> Overall, that's the first challenge. But for, for the actual Lego, the first challenge for me was actually getting the chassis correct, because I, build it out of a bit of Technic and standard Lego. That's not good to mix those a lot. And then the second one was actually trying to make the cog system work. That was a big one. And that show, one show us the cog system that you had in the end. So the reason this actually works is because it, if you see all the gears we have here, if you turn, when you turn this, you can see they're clicking. Slipping out of the cogs. And the the reason why it didn't work at first is because the gear ratio, the difference between the size of the gears, wasn't enough to drive the motor and create make the lights go dink, dink, dink. And why wasn't it enough to open? Yeah, it required too much torque, so it had too little. So we had to make more gears and bigger gears but eventually the real reason it works is because of our big fat tire friends here <laughs> because the bigger the tire the less movement you're going to get in it because these small tires back here that you're going to get more turns every second but for these big tires not so much turns per second under a turn per section second maybe do the yeah. wheels change the turns ratio as well yes the wheels change it because if you've got a small wheel, it will, it will make, create more turns every second. So that means they're spinning faster. And sometimes that means, yeah, <laughs> they don't work. They slip, the cogs slip. They slip. Yeah. And when they slip, they don't generate energy. It converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. Which then drives, drives the our little LEDs light friends. Which, my little character. <laughs> I love that guy. I spent so long on that guy. <laughs> I even made a custom cape for him, but yeah. it fell off. Are there any ways you can potentially improve it? Because it's not that robust at the moment. Oh it? no! If it went a, if it went up against one of, against one of my other battle car, but yeah, this was made for battle. This one, not so much. Is there any way you could potentially build the cogs better and more robust, like hold the motor in place better or something like that? Would that help? Yes, it would help. Yeah, give me about half, another half a day on full working. Okay, just to be clear, this is the front. This is not the front. Just to be clear. 
I know this looks like the back because it's got the bigger wheels and everything, but no, it's not that. It's technical. Yep. That was to yeah. get the gear ratio yes. required to get the lights to light. <sighs> that was a lot of technical stuff. Goal has been achieved. Lights have been lit up. Did you have fun building? Yep. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 